The education system in Trinidad and Tobago needs to become more integrated. This is the opinion of teachers and experts at the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus. The institution held a symposium on Wednesday on the need for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, along with the integration of art in this country. Tarian Brown Campbell has more in this report. Jobs in the real world require workers to be able to use more than one field of study. The best plumber will not succeed if he does not have the mathematical skill to set the right prices for his services. The best astronomer will not be able to drive to work if he can't read a simple map. This was the consensus at the symposium at the UWI on why we need science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to be integrated with arts and culture. Professor John Agard, a leading scientist from the Department of Life Sciences at the UWI, highlighted the need for this integration. Um, we have to change the educational system in Trinidad and Tobago because uh, a lot of the educational system is based in teaching in silos, separate subjects, doing only what's on the curriculum, uh, in fact, and not integrating them uh, a floor. So STEM embraces um, what I would call the four Cs um, identified um, as critical in the 21st century, which is creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and communication. He noted that students no longer need to memorize when they can take out their phones and in seconds get all the facts. Historian Dr. Heather Cato, during her contribution to the symposium, noted that our uniqueness as a Caribbean people needs to be taken into account. She insisted that we need our own system of education. What we need to propel us forward in today's world can only be done by mixing the specialized scientific rigor that is needed with a strong blend of history and culture and a heady dose of Caribbean creativity backed by economic, social, and political incentives. Dr. Cato pointed to leading Caribbean intellectuals like Vidya Naipaul, Dr. Eric Williams, Derek Walcott, Lloyd Best, and others. She noted that for those who succeeded, it was because their creativity, innovation, and critical thinking were based on systems from their own Caribbean life experiences. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.